if you have a sense of belonging in your community, if you want to have a stake in the future of what happens in your community, the services that are provided in the community, how those services are provided, definitely stand for election. I tell other people that I'm a councillor and they're kind of like, what? That's really odd. And um, I guess that's because I challenge the stereotypical view of what a councillor is. Um, and that for me is a really great feeling when you tell them that actually I can do it and they kind of think, oh, well, so can I. If you want to come onto the council, we need new people coming forward and with the energy um, to make change. So if, you, if you've got something that you can see needs changing, then join us and try to change it. Make sure you're doing it for the right reasons, because you want to help people. You have to be accessible um, at any time, in any place. Um, that's one of the joys, as far as I'm concerned, I like being involved in my community. Uh, but it also means that you need to think about that. I would encourage anyone to actually stand for election of the council. And I think it's really important that people stand for election in the areas which they live in. Either where it's somebody you've grown up or whether you've spent a large part of your life and you feel like you're part of the community. Because how many times have you actually gone along to an election for a council, a local council, a borough council? and have been disappointed with the actual choice you've had of candidates to pick. There's just simply not the boxes on the paper that you wished you had. Well, you're not going to change that unless somebody puts their name forward. So it's got to be you. You can't stand there and hope that someone else will do the work. You've got to do it. You've got to stand up and make that choice to run. And I hope as many of you do it as possible. It's getting involved in your community, having an impact, doing something for the area that you love.